talk to me a little bit about the process of writing like a true story as you know, compared to like yeah. a, a fictional one. Well, look, I wrote this on spec, right? Which means you just sit alone in your room and, and try to make and try to write the best script you can and hope that after it, someone likes it. So writing a true story when you don't have any rights, it's a risk. But um, I just love the story so much that I thought, you know what? If nothing happens with it, I'll, I'll be happy to have written it. Um, so I went on a limb and I wrote it. And, you know, it just speaks to the power of the true story, you know, that, that people were interested in it right away. But look... I love the Sonny character. To me, the movie doesn't work if you're telling it from a different POV. Jordan's family being a huge part of it, like that to me was the real important part. And you kind of have Jordan like the Jaws and Shark, or the Shark and Jaws, you know, where it's like the less you see him, the more powerful and scary in a way he becomes. Um, so yeah, man, look, it was a joy. I was at a point in my career where, you know, I was kind of stuck. I was working on rewrites and just trying to land a job some way. And, and this was just a nice way for me to get back in final draft, get the fingers working, and uh, you know, it was just such a joy to write, which I hope is reflected on the screen. Yeah, I heard you say, you know, it was kind of like the difficulty of trying to make this film without making it like a biopic, right? Yeah, yeah, look, I'm not, most of the time when you do biopics, it's like a Wikipedia article come to life. So for me, this is, it's like a heist movie, you know? It's, 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 we have one goal, we have to, we have to do it or else, you know, uh, or, or else the company falls apart. So it was fun, you know, it has, momentum and clear stakes and an active protagonist, all the things you look for um, in, in a script. But yeah, you never, like, Michael, maybe one day they'll do a biopic about him, but we have the last dance, we have all the old footage, you know, in a way, like, his presence is just too powerful to try and, uh, you know, recreate in a way. So we'll see, look, that may be someone else's story to tell. This was the one that felt like this is a nice way into the Michael Jordan story. Hopefully, you know, kind of, revealing a story maybe not a lot of people knew about. I certainly didn't when I saw that part of The Last Dance and, and the Nike story. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, and I mean, you kind of said it earlier too about the fact that, you know, you had the script, you didn't know what was going to happen, and yeah. then you get this amazing cast. Yeah. Sign yeah. Off where, amazing director, like, talk about how that felt. Look, I, there's so many ups and downs in screenwriting, you know, and uh, you hear all the time, oh my god, this big star is reading the script and wants to do it, and it's like, they never do. Um, so for this all to kind of come together the way it did and for it to happen, one, it's a credit to Ben. You know, he got the cast together. Um, you know, it was uh, it was just a dream shoot, and every single day it was like a new A-list actor coming in and just crushing it. Um, so look, there were a lot of pinch yourself moments, um, and uh, you know that's why you keep going. Like you never know, you might write a script that you know gets to, gets to this point. Um, so yeah, I mean, it was you know it's pinch yourself. And now you get to premiere here at South by in Austin. Yeah, yeah. Um, how's that feel? Crazy man. Like I still don't know if I've really even process it but the energy here is amazing Austin's such a great city it feels like a festival like for the audience which to me sometimes gets lost um, so it's awesome and I can't wait for everyone to see it